What's up guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 4 team builder of the GBA D-League. Um, this week we are up against Dan Eki, and uh, he, he had the audacity to slide into my DMs on Discord and tell me how to pronounce Rosa Raiden Borg correctly, um, because I pronounced it wrong at the end of my week 3 game. Uh, he's going to pronounce my team name wrong. Uh, on purpose, apparently, but you know, I'm actually making an effort here, Dan, to, to pronounce your team right, unlike other coaches, so I hope you are now happy. <coughs> uh, sorry, um, so that aside, um, we'll just get straight into the team order. Looking at Dan's draft, it is disgusting. Again, a draft which, after playing Jolt, um, getting absolutely hammered, I won't announce the, the score to you guys but or I announced the score to you guys in case you want to see the game still but um, we we kind of got bent over and and yeah stuff happened so um, I, I didn't really like the matchup again this week just purely for the fact he is a Magiana. Uh Garchomp can take on my wall core by itself Reg Steel obviously weak to its ground stab um, Latias weak to its dragon stab and it gets Poison Jab or Iron Head for Clef. If that thing gets set up, I've like got no answers at all other than offensive checks. So, you know, scary. He's then got Fatness in Tangro from Suicune. Um, disgusting defensive core there. Um, Darm just hits hard again. Don't really have a switch in. Um, I don't have a bulky water in my draft. Latias is my best switch in, and even then, Jolly Choice Scarf Flare Blitz does 45% to my max defense Latias. So, yeah, no real switch ins available. Uh, Aero is quite spooky, purely because of its speed. Um, it outspeeds my whole draft, minus the Mega Lop. Um, wasn't really expecting it to come, uh, because it does have a multitude of like rock uses and things like that. Um, don't know if it really matches up well in this game. Uh, but Aerodactyl is a cool mon. Frostlass, again, something else which I was fearing because of the spike stack along with the Roserade. Um, Frostlass with potential Will of Wisp. Um, Roserade with them toxic spikes and spikes as well. Uh, Licky Licky is just fat. We don't. I don't mind it. I don't really expect it to bring because I have got the lot. Um, it would deal with a lot of things like my Volcarona uh, and Latias quite well. Um, but I do just have ways of breaking down Licky Licky quite easily on the physical side of things. So. Don't really expect that. Mega Absol is Mega Absol. Got to be aware of Magic Bounce. Um, I've got quite a few like hazards and status moves this week, so I've got to play around that quite carefully. Um, you know, it does get that stab sucker punch. Its move pool is ridiculously good. It can hit specially or physically, so something you really got to watch out for. And then the Rogue Z Stunfisk here. Uh, I don't know if he gave Stunfisk the Z move just because he could, <laughs> but but Stunfisk is there, Lord Stunfisk. And just to make it even more broken, uh, Dan decided to give McGinn a, a Z move. Um, fun times. So, we'll go over the team, and rather than the same as week two and week three, where I've said, oh, you know what, I am I was so close to bringing floats, so I thought, screw it, this week is the week where we're going to bring floats all, because the matchup isn't actually that bad for floats all this week. Yes, he has a Tangrove, yes, he has a Suicune. Um, I have ways of dealing with those things, uh, we'll get over that in a second, but we'll go straight into uh, floats all, I guess then. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Jolly Max Attack had to run the risk of a speed type Mega Absol. However, I am Life 4, but I do have Aqua Jet. If I can get set up at all, just one or two bulk ups, I'm really going to be packing a punch to his team. Um, I think if I can get a one bulk up off, Waterfall is doing like 80 to 90% to Magirna. Um Ice Punch will obviously be a one hit kill on Garchomp if he's not Scarf. Suicune is obviously a problem, um, but if I can get a Z move off, my Z Giga Drain on that thing or just hit it with some electric moves from my Electivire, then obviously if I can weaken it and he doesn't get a chance to rest up, then we'll have a good uh, chance with Floatzel. Tangrove is obviously weak to the Ice Punch, it probably won't take much, but again I have the uh, the Volcarona here um, to, to deal with that, and Corrin, the Latias can do some decent damage to Dragon Pulse I would imagine, and uh, my good pal um, Registeel will be able to do something to it as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I mean the Aqua Jet with Life Orb after Stealth Rocks without any kind of boost pretty much guarantees a kill and Darm, which is nice. If I get to plus one, Aqua Jet just flat out kills it without rocks anyway. Same with Aero after rocks, um, Aqua Jet will kill it, especially at plus one. Um, Roserade, 
unless Scarfed, I'll probably kill at plus one with Ice Punch with the Life Orb, you know. Um, again, Frost last Light Speed, it's not the bulkiest thing. Can't burn me with Will-O-Wisp, so if I can get to plus one on that, um, we're going to be looking good. We can get the Waterfall off and do some good damage there. Um, Licky Licky, it's usually special defensive, probably tank a few hits, um, but, you know, there's not really much you can do back unless they're running Body Slam, they can run the risk of... Um, paralyzing me. Mega Absol is probably the one thing which is kind of concerning because he can run the speed tie, he can suck a punch, but you know I can Aqua Jet. I might just have to run the risk of a speed tie there, unless I can get some kind of paralysis on it before it Mega Evolves, unlikely. And uh, we do hit the stun for Scoop Reflector as well. Um, obviously he might static me, which would be less than ideal, um, but as you can kind of see, the Aqua Jet and the, the, like, the setup opportunity for Floatzel um, is pretty good. Now the only thing is when do I get a chance to set up? Um, that's something I'm going to have to figure out in the game. And I know that in, uh, I mentioned this in the in my week 3 game, in week 4, the, the power rankings, I think it was for week 2, you know, they were like, got to go in with a game plan. Um, I found it incredibly hard to go into this game with a game plan, guys. I'll be honest with you, because I was so scared of the things he had in his draft. Um, so spooky, you could just break mine down. But that's Floatzel. Um, his kind of role is take out faster things that are weak to it with Aqua Jet and then if I can get, just get a bulk up off and do some huge damage to, to something um, just to free up some things for the rest of my team. Um, next up we've got, oh yeah I did go over the EVs, we've got Mega Lopini next. Um, standard, just enough speed to outspeed the uh, da, 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 the Aerodactyl, that's the one, max attack and then the rest in HP. Um, high jump kick, ice punch, toxic quick attack. High jump kick because it hits everything on his team, I think, neutrally? Other than Roserade. Yeah, it does. Um, well, Ice Punch, which then hits the uh, the Roserade. Obviously, super effective. As well as the Garchomp, which is uh, four times weak. Um, he does have multiple switch-ins, though, in Magirna and Suicune to the Ice Punch. Um, both can take a high jump kick and, and threaten me. So, I don't, you know, I, I kind of need to hit him with a high jump kick on the switch-in if I want to be doing anything. Um, because Magirna will kill me with any kind of fairy move and Suicune can run the risk of burning me. Uh, quick Attack is there just for like pick-offs, so for example if Darm does any big damage after Stealth Rocks, you know I can come in Quick Attack and kill it. Um, same with Aerodactyl if it's really low, obviously it doesn't resist. Um, the Frost Lass if that gets out of hand for any kind of reason. Um, Mega Absol as well, outspeed and out prioritizes Sucker Punch, um, so I can do some good damage to that because it's quite frail. Uh, Toxic was there because I'm pretty confident this switching is going to be Tangrove or Suicune. One of the two is a really safe switching. Expecting the Tangrove to come to be the main sort of answer because Ice Punch, sure it can hit it, but it really won't do much. Um, so Toxic is there for the walls. If I can get it off on something like the um, Licky Licky as well, and it by chance it doesn't have Heal Bell, lovely. Stunfisk as well. Um, don't really want to be getting, you know, staticed. So if that's coming, I have to be aware of that and maybe I can click Toxic a few times because. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if McGinn will be a switch in because if it's my offensive McGinn, I can two-hit KO it with high jump kick. Um, so he needs to be careful with that. And it's a, I mean, it's such a good mod. He just needs to kind of preserve it for for late game just to clean up like he did against um, Magic Week One. So go watch out for that. Um, so that's pretty much like a, quite a standard lop, other than maybe the toxic. But toxic on offensive ones is becoming really popular purely because it does break down walls really well, uh, and then you can preserve your offensive checks for later game, or not offensive checks, offensive mons for the late game clean up kind of thing, so <coughs> I think Lop is definitely something that looks like it can be doing the late game kind of clean up role this week. Sorry for the coughing, I don't know where it's come from, I haven't had it for a couple of weeks. I had it right at the start of the season, it went and, and now it's back again apparently. Next up we've got Volcarona. We've got Flamethrower, Giga Drain, Quiverdance, Hidden Power, Ice. Um, quite a straightforward set to be honest. Um, I have quite a few chances to set up if he has the Tangrowth in. He might have the Rock Slide. Um, something I'll have to try and scout out for. If he doesn't have it, you know, I can try and set up on the Tangrowth. I can scare it out immediately with just like the raw power of like a Fire Blast or something. Uh, Frost Lass would be a decent setup opportunity. Rose Raid would be a decent setup opportunity if it doesn't have Hidden Power. Rock. Uh, Licky Licky could be something quite decent. Uh, if Mega Absol is slightly weakened, so maybe it's Click Superpower or something, could be quite useful. Um, yeah, uh, uh, like a, a choice locked Magirna into something like Flash Cannon or a Fairy move would be a really good opportunity for me to set up. So um, we've decided to go for the three moves, sort of offensive moves I've got here because it hits most of his team hard. 
I need fire move for Magirna. It hits the Tangrowth. Um, it even hits the Dumanitan for like 50%, which is nice. Uh, hits the Roserade, hits the Frostlass. Um, Licky Licky could be Thick Fat, which is probably one of the best answers to my Volcarona, but I really don't think he'll bring it because I've got answers for it. Um, I mean, Mega Abtob will die to a Flamethrower, and Stunfisk won't appreciate it either. Um, I do have Hidden Power Ice for Garchomp, otherwise, it can live any hit at plus one. Uh, I think it might even live Giga Drain at plus two. And I don't want to waste my Grass Indium Z on it because that's there for the Suicune. Um, so that's uh, that's kind of my thinking there. Quiver Dance is obviously the setup of choice. Um, the one thing I have to look out for is Scarf Chomp because obviously it will outspeed me at plus one. Anything like Scarf Aerodactyl, Scarf Frostlass. I mean, Scarf Frostlass won't be a, a threat to me um, unless it's got like a physical rock type attack, which it might get like Rock Tomb or something. I don't know. Um, I've got to look out for those potential Scarfers, which will outspeed it at plus one. But if he doesn't, for whatever reason, bring any Scarfers, this thing can just run through his team and just do massive dents. To the point where Lop and uh, Floatzel can clean up late game, so that's always really nice. That was just kind of—I mean, it's a basic set. I don't like, you know, the, this thing being associated with Quiver Dance all the time. And I did bring Life Orb, and I did win that with that. But I really felt like Quiver Dance could do some good work for his team. I need the speed boost mainly um, to be like any kind of real threat this game. And I didn't want to be Scarf because I need to be able to move up my moves. Um, because otherwise if I click the fire move he comes into Suicune every time that gives him a chance to start with his Crocoon. Uh, if I click anything like Giga Chain it's a free switch into Tangrove. So I need I need the ability to switch up moves. So that's uh, Volcarona, the speed, sorry the EVs. Speed is there just to start speed, max speed, non scarf Darm, max special attack and then I didn't even fully EV this one I've just realised so um, we'll just do that instead. Um, that's what it was, I did, I did fix that because I remember point, finding it in the uh, when Jenning, but uh, yeah, not not good that I didn't realise it just until now on here. Uh, next up, we have got the Latias. I had I, I was kind of forced to run Max Defense this week as I mentioned a bit brief uh, briefly earlier because it's the only thing that takes less than half from a Dumanitan's um, Flare Blitz, which is kind of scary. And even then, U turn still does like half. So the best answer I have for it. If this thing goes down to Darmantan, so be it, because um, the Rocky Helmet and the Recoil uh, will be really good, as well with some Stealth Rocks if I can get them up. Um, the Rocky Helmet will be incredibly useful. Um, I just realised I'm pointing at the wrong thing, because I'm using my OBS uh, <coughs> screens to point my mouse, and it was in the complete wrong area just then. Um, but with Rocky Helmet, uh, Levitate obviously is nice to check with Chomp, because if he has Choice Chomp, I can play around with that and not be scared of any Dragon moves. Um, Dragon Pulse, Recover, Defog, Earthquake. So I'll go over the moves. Dragon Pulse is just kind of a powerful stab that I need. Hits the tank, Garcha. I mean, his only fairy is Magirna. Uh, I am right in saying that, yes. And he hasn't got a Steel type outside of Magirna as well. So Dragon Pulse is kind of like a free move. It'll do nice chip damage to most things on his team. Recover is Recover, I need health. Defog was important because I do have the Volcarona this week. Um, I need the removal for that basically because if he gets rocks up or any hazards up um, He does have the Roserade and the Frostlass for hazards. He has the Aerodactyl and the Chomp and the Stumpfish for rocks So five mons with hazards, so there's a good chance that at least one or two of them are coming So I need the removal for Volcarona and it just made sense to bring it on uh, Latias this week and then we have Earthquake so Earthquake is here because that means Magirna doesn't freely switch in it doesn't completely war me Magirna is a free switch every time I have Latias in, if I don't have Earthquake. Um, so Earthquake actually does, like, if he's offensive, Magirna does like 35%, which is pretty good. Um, if he has Sugar Berry, it'll pop it, and then something else, maybe like a uh, potential Earthquake on the Electivire, Earthquake on the um, Registeel. Will do some good damage. Um, he obviously might have been expecting me to bring the Crocodile as well. Um, I don't feel like the Crocodile has a really good matchup this game. Uh, it, it loses to Magirna, it loses to. It probably loses to Chomp, it loses to Tangrove, it loses to Suicune. Um, he's got the Grand Immunity and Aerodactyl. Frostlass is a uh, powerful ice, you know, it's weak to, weak to Roserade. Very weak to his team, so I, uh, you know, I don't know if he'd want to bring that, but. Uh, Earthquake will pop any sugar berries, and if he's not, it'll do some good damage. And you know, uh, I'll outspeed it if he, unless he's like a really speedy Magirna. 
So if I feel like I need to sack off my Latias, or if he's going to make another prediction, I can free hit KO like an offensive um, again, which is nice. So um, the EVs quickly will go over. I am max speed. I'm actually running a relaxed nature this week because I did want an Earthquake to hit as hard as possible. Um, I didn't actually need like the speed because I outspeed uninvested speed Darmanitan still this way. Um, and even with relaxed, I'll outspeed Suicune and Tangrowth uh, unless they've got a bit of speed investment, which would be I, I don't mind swapping for because um, they'll have less bulk then. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is either really slow or fast enough to the point where it outspeed a, a, a non-speedy Latias anyway. So that's the reason behind the EVs there. Next up, we've got the uh, Choppleberry Special Defensive Registeel. Um, one of my best answers to Magirna, if you can call it that, because it does get Aura Sphere and Focus Blast. They are its best moves to hit me, which is why I got the Choppleberry, because I do resist its stabs otherwise. Um, we'll go over the, the move steal. Uh, Seismic Toss, Iron Head, Toxic Stealth Rock. <coughs> Excuse me. Second week in a row where I do know he has got the Suicune, which can hit that 207 sub, so uh, Seismic Toss won't actually um, kill uh, a sub. But it's like the best thing I have to hit his whole team um, for good damage. If I catch a, uh, a Tangrove coming in, that's a quarter of its health gone. Catch a Suicune, that's a quarter of its health gone. If I catch the Garchomp, that's like a third of its health gone. Darm, you know, it could be a switch in because, I mean, it'll switch into Iron Heads all day, every day. Um, it could do some decent damage to things like the Licky Licky, the Absol doesn't have much HP, it'd be like a free hit KO on that thing. Um, Stunfisk as well, you know, uh, Seismic Toss seemed like a reasonable bring. Um, Iron Head does hit the Frost Last Switch, Seismic Toss doesn't hit. Um, it also hits the Magina, okay, uh, it hits Aerodactyl, I mean, his defensive, or like his defensive pairing won't care for it, um, which is why I have Toxic. I don't expect him to bring in Mega Absol on a Registeel. Um, sure, he can hit me offensively, but I don't. I only think he'd want to bring it in if he had like a um, a good reason to. So if he thought I was going to go for Stealth Rocks or something, um, even then the Chopperberry can save me from like a Focus Blast or a Superpower from. I'm doing it again. Um, save me from like a Superpower or Focus Blast from that and just do some really good damage with Iron Head. Um, getting up Stealth Rocks will be huge this game. It would really help me greatly. Um, because he does have the Darn weak to it, he does have the Aero weak to it, he does have the Frost last week to it. Um, getting the like chip damage every time on the Suicune and the Tango and the Mega Absol. Um, Roserade and even the Magirna would be extremely useful. Um, so this is my best answer to Magirna, but I think as many people know, in League format there isn't much to take on a Magirna anyway. Um, pretty like straightforward EVs, we've got the max special defense because that's what I need, I need some special bulk. Um, because I need to take on that Magirna as well as possible. Um, finally, we have gone for Doomfist the Electivire. I needed this thing mainly because I need something that can hit the Suicune. I'm going to bring sort of physically offensive, straightforward again, um, Jolly Max Speed because I want to run the risk of a speed tie with Darmanitan rather than just lose a speed tie every single time. The freedom of moving up, uh, sorry, switching up moves would have been lovely. Um, so I do have like the Ice Punch. I mean, I was really tempted to run Mixed, but I couldn't justify it. I think from the Calc's Ice Punch might have done more. Um, especially if he's AV Tangrowth, which seemed likely. Because um, that can take on the Volcarona a bit better. Um, I bought the Thunder Punch, because if he's Crocoon, it's going to be doing decent damage still. Earthquake hits a decent amount of his team well. So Darm, um, it can hit the Absol, the Stunfisk, and the Roserade, the Frostlass, the Magirna. Uh, and Volt Switch is there for the, the switching around. He does have the Sunfisk, have the Sunfisk, not expecting that. However, I am expecting the Garchomp. So I'll have to be careful with that. If he's not Scarf Chomp, I will obviously outspeed with the Ice Punch and kill it. Um, if he is Scarf Chomp, then Welp. He's going to be clicking Earthquake most likely, and that does give me a switch into my Latias. Um, so that's the team, pretty much. Um, in my draft, I literally have nothing for Chomp other than Delmise. However, I didn't really want to bring Delmise because it loses to the Darm, it loses to Aerodactyl, it loses to Frostlast, it loses to um, Mega Absol. He had so many things for it, and that was the only sort of real check I had to the Garchomp. Um, even then, I'm pretty sure like he could just bring Swords Dance, Firefang, or Crunch or something and destroy me still. Um, that was my best answer for it. Uh, I, otherwise, I didn't really look at the other things. Clef, the matchup isn't very good. Um, Magirna, Roserade, you know, 
Obviously, it would have dealt with Mega Raptor quite nice. Um, but he has so many things which can, I mean, Darmanitan will still obliterate me. Um, unaware was kind of, you know, something I did consider bringing because, you know, in case of Crocoon. Um, but, uh, it, I, you know, I didn't feel like I had a good matchup really this week because there's so many things which could just obliterate on his team. Um, the, the Crook, again, I've already gone over why I don't think that was a good enough bring for the week. Skun Tank, again, just loses to, I, I mean, it would have done quite nice against Tangrowth because the poison type. Um, again, I would probably lose to McGeano. It would take any kind of fire move I use and probably just kill me with a uh, powerful um, steal or fairy move. Um, Garchomp is obviously really good against me. Darm will just obliterate me with um, Flare Blitz. Obviously, the Aftermath and Rocky Helmet set could have been quite useful for that. Um, uh, you know, it might take on Roserade okay, especially defensive wise. Um, and Mega Absol. So, you know, in, in hindsight, Skun Tank maybe wasn't too bad, but hey, what can you do? Um, and the Staraptor. I mean, it does damage. Um, a Scarf set could have been quite useful. It would have outsped a lot of his team, bar Scarfers, um, and done a lot of damage. But again, free switch into Magirna. Don't want him to do that. Um, he could have Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin on Garchomp. Um, Tangrowth probably won't like a hit, take a hit, but you know the amount of recoil I'll take will be ridiculous. Suicune is bulky, will take hits. Uh, you know, he, he has got the, the chance for like Ice Shard and Frostlass. Goes to, you know, immunity to my normal type moves. Um, you know, it would have been a hard hitter, but it would have been hard to fit into my team out of the six I have picked. I think the most expendable probably would have been Floatzel, but I was talking to Jolt after last week, and he did tell me that, you know, people aren't going to prepare for Floatzel, so it was definitely something I considered for this week, and, uh, it, you know, it could pay dividends. So that's enough of the team builder. I've rambled on long enough. Um, I'm doing this way in advance this week because I'm away this weekend, so if there's any mistakes with the titles or descriptions or anything wrong I've said in the team builder or the battle I'm sorry you're gonna have to deal with it until I am back from my trip to EGX with some of the uh, PPL and Twitter crew so thanks for watching this video guys make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy comment on how you think the game will go and what the team matchup is like otherwise I will look forward to seeing you next time bye